dear students today we will discuss about infrared spectroscopy that is ir spectroscopy the infrared spectroscopy is useful for detection of functional group now how to identify functional group we will discuss step by step the absorption region of ir is from 4000 cm inverse to 600 cm inverse this is the new bar value it is called as wave number and if a molecule is subjected to the ir radiation then it causes the excitation of molecules from lower vibrational energy level to higher vibrational energy level now for a molecule to be ir active change in dipole moment is must means there should be a change in the dipole moment if for a molecule to be ir active we will consider an example consider co2 molecule carbon dioxide if you stretch this molecule symmetrically then there will be no change in the dipole moment therefore symmetric stretch of co2 is ir inactive whereas asymmetric stretch if you stretch it asymmetrically then there will be definitely change in dipole moment and that molecule will be ir active so what is the condition for a molecule to be ir active that there should be change in dipole moment means first there should be a dipole in the molecule and that should change then and then that molecule will be ir active now we will consider some examples which of the following molecules are ir active and why h2 will it be ir active no because there is no dipole in the molecule at all therefore there will not be change in dipole moment and therefore this molecule is ir inactive br2 again there is no dipole in the molecule therefore there will no change in the dipole moment ir inactive water molecule h2o is there a dipole two poles are there oxygen is carrying negative charge hydrogen is carrying positive charge therefore there is a dipole in the molecule and if you stretch it there will be change in dipole moment and therefore h2o molecule is ir active hcl there is dipole and if you stretch that will be ir active chcl3 what will be the case there is a dipole because chlorine is carrying negative charge carbon will carry a partial positive charge there is dipole and stretching or bending vibration will make it ir active now co2 molecule symmetric stretch will be ir inactive why because if you stretch it like this symmetrically like this one there will be no change in dipole moment dipole is there but there will be no change in dipole moment therefore symmetric stretch of co2 will be ir inactive whereas asymmetric stretch will be ir active and bending will also be ir active now we will see types of vibrations in ir which are also called as vibrational modes now modes of vibrations are classified in two categories one is stretching vibration another is bending vibration now stretching vibrations are also also of two types one is symmetric stretch another is asymmetric stretch and bending vibrations are classified into four types one is scissoring rocking wagging and twisting we will see one by one now what is symmetric stretch first is stretching vibration and what is symmetric stretch consider this is the molecule if both the molecule both the atoms are stretched both the bonds are stretched in the same direction that is called as symmetric stretching vibration asymmetric stretch the bonds are vibrating in 
opposite direction this bond is being stretched in this direction whereas this bond is stretched in another direction this is called as asymmetric stretch scissoring vibration like scissor if bend these are the bending vibrations four types so bending scissoring both the bonds are vibrating in the same direction of arrow rocking they are vibrating in this direction see see the difference between scissoring and rocking they are in opposite direction where they are vibrating in the same direction wagging i have written here 2 plus means the bending is in the way out of plane bending means this is the plane of paper both the bonds are vibrating in the direction to and fro like this one and twisting vibration one of the bond is on vibrating on the front side of the paper whereas another bond is vibrating other side of the paper that is called as twisting vibration difference between wagging and twisting is also clear so these are the modes of vibration basically stretching vibration and bending vibrations these are the two types stretching are classified into again two types symmetric stretch asymmetric stretch and bending vibrations are of four types scissoring rocking wagging and twisting